So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you may have noticed that I have different sizes and styles of six ring binders. So to learn how to find the right six ring binder for you, be sure to keep watching. From my experience, finding the right six ring binder involves asking yourself a series of five different questions. So first, what is your reason for wanting a six ring binder? Is this to complete journaling about your feelings? Maybe it's to do journal spreads about your favorite artists or maybe even your favorite shows or it could even be for organization such as organizing your stickers or storing your photo cards. So really exploring the different reasons why you want a six string binder will help you decide which one is right for you. So the next question you want to ask yourself is what is your budget? So from this section keep in mind that most six string binders are sold online rather than in store so you want to be sure that you're factoring shipping costs into your budget. Also, I have come to learn that most six string binders range from about 10 to $15, including shipping. And sometimes this is just for the binder. So if you are looking to purchase a six string binder along with say refill paper, or maybe even purchasing the binder in a set. So it includes different stickers or maybe even a ruler or a storage pouch. You want to be sure that you factor that cost into finding the right six string binder for yourself as well. The next question you want to ask yourself is, where will you use it? So figuring out if you want to use your six string binder in one place, so say literally just at home, or if you want to carry it with you to different places will help you decide potentially what six string binder to use. And you also want to be sure you check the durability of the cover as well. If you're really concerned about it being able to protect your papers. So for example, I use my six string binders literally nine times out of 10 at home. So they just sit on my desk and I can just pick them up and use them them when I want to. However, if you don't want to just use your six ring binder at home, but you want it to be portable to carry around with you, you want to be sure that you check the durability of the covers because pro tip, most of the bendable PVC covers do not protect your papers as much as the covers say that have a zipper closure or even a hard cover type of closure. So the next question you want to ask yourself is what aesthetic or features do you want your six ring binder to have? So in my video, where to buy six string binders. I talk about the different styles and aesthetics that come with different six string binders, such as having a zipper closures or even having button closures, as well as having clear covers with glitter on them. So you want to be sure you research the different aesthetics that they have and you want to check out the different features because some six string binders can come with front and back cover pockets. Some of them can come with keychain holders and then others may even come for a place to storage different pins. So you want to be sure that you look into the different aesthetics and features that you want in a six ring binder. So next you want to ask yourself what refill papers or inserts are available for your specific six ring binder. So in my where to buy refill paper video, I talk about the different refill papers and inserts that are available. So they have different ones such as blank pages, they have dotted pages, they have grid pages, they even have pages with different scenery on them or even different calendar style pages. So depending on what refill paper or insert you want, this may just change your mind about which six string binder you end up choosing. So if you guys haven't guessed it by now, this will require some research on your part. However, this is so worth it and so important when it comes to finding the right six string binder for yourself. And if it takes some trial and error, you guys, it is okay. Please try to be as open and as flexible as possible. Also share with me down in the comments below a couple things that you look for when it comes to purchasing a six string binder. And if you guys want any more six string binder videos, be sure to check out my six string binder playlist or my ring binder playlist. I love you guys so much kittens and thank you guys for watching. Adios.